Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be showing you how to install a Stage 3 spoiler and arrow kit on a C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Gina and this is our 78 pace car. You're watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. So today we're going to be installing a Stage 3 arrow kit and a Stage 3 spoiler on my wife's 2016 Corvette. So we're going to break this into three separate parts. So in, in the case that you just buy the front splitter or you just buy the side skirts or just the spoiler, you'll be able to fast forward to those or just watch that individual video on its own. So sit back, relax, and we'll be showing you how to do each piece. So before I get started, um, there's a few things I want to touch base on, on what you're going to need. Uh, thank you, Terry. You're welcome. Um, you're going to need a, a nylon pry bar kit, which you can get from uh, Harbor Freight very inexpensively. I think it was $7.99. Um, it does come with the full instruction set for all the different modules that you're going to be doing, because we broke this into three different modules, one for the, the uh, front splitter, as well as the side skirts, and also for the, uh, the Stage 3 um, spoiler. Uh, so all the instructions are included. All of the hardware is included except for the uh, wide sticky tape that you're going to want to use on the front splitter as well as the side skirts. The sticky tape that's used for the Stage 3 uh, um, spoiler on the back, it does come with that. But you will not need any other hardware besides that. Uh, as far as uh, tools, you're going to need a 7mm socket, you're going to need a 10mm socket as well as a ratchet and an extension, and you will need a uh, T15 Torx, as well as that you're going to still have to use your ratchet and the extension for that. Um, besides that, I believe that's all there is that you're going to need besides the nylon pry bar kit. Again, this is from uh, Harbor Freight. You can get these for about $7.99. Um, now, on my car today, you're going to be seeing, actually, this is not my car. This is Jennifer's car, my wife's car. Um, you're going to be seeing that it's a Z51 and it already has a Z51 spoiler on the back. Now, if you had gotten a base car uh, and didn't have the, uh, the spoiler on the back, um, it comes with a, uh, a template right here inside the box uh, to be able to put that up and know exactly where to drill the holes. Uh, but if you're pulling a Z51 spoiler off, then the holes are exactly the same. You will not have to do any drilling. So just wanted to cover all that ahead of time. Um, so that's, that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the video and we'll get you going. Okay, this is what we're going to start with. We're going to take these off, both sides, and all these screws right here off. And then that'll be disassembling this part so we can actually put the other one back on. These are all seven millimeter screws. The ones on the end right here are shorter. Remember that. These here are a little bit longer. And nothing will fall off when you take these out <clears throat> because it is on other places. <laughs> Okay, that takes all the screws out and the little wind things on the end of them. On the splitter, there's 10 holes. There's five on this side, and they're just guide holes, and there's five on that side. Because of the screws that we're using are not self-tapping, is what I found is if you just put them in and start them, sometimes they'll get cocked because of the threads. And then when you get them in, they don't sit flat and they're not secure. So it's what I want to do is drill out each one of these holes. There's 10 of them, five on each side, with a 3 inch drill, which is the size of these screws, the diameter of them. And they'll slit right in there. So when you put the main screws from the factory on and you put these in, they will all flat. They will secure at a flat surface. Much better bond. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to drill each one of these out. 
there, there's already guide holes, so it's not a big, hard thing to do. That's all it is right there. These are all going to be new holes in the bumper, so it doesn't matter. It, they, they don't have to line up with anything. Okay. But the divots that you see down here with the holes in it, them line up with the original bumper things. Okay. And that'll do that. Now what we want to do is we want to put two pieces of double-sided tape. I want to put one here and one right in this area on both sides. Clean that off really good first, and then put the double side tape on, and we're ready to install it. <clears throat> I'm going to cut a few pieces. There's three holes right here. I'm just going to go to the inside edge of these two out holes and put me a piece here. And then I'm going to go between these two, these three holes, which is actually that one, and put a piece here. Okay. So guys, the, uh, the the kit comes with everything you're going to need except for this uh, two-way stick tape. Um, so you want to make sure that uh, before you start this process that you run down. Uh, I bought mine at AutoZone, um, and you can get, uh, they have this the uh, two different um, links. I, I always get the bigger roll, and it's, I think, about $13, $14 for the bigger roll. Um, you don't need that much. Uh, you can get the smaller one, but I always do it because I like to have a little of that extra, uh, you know, when I need it for whatever uh, case may be. So, um, but that's all you're going to need to do. Everything else, all the screws, everything else is included in the kit. Okay, we got the tape on. Now I'm going to take the double side, the other tape off, which Scott helped me with because I have no fingernails. I just got these fat little thumbs. <laughs> so this is... Scott helped me with this, but just take the double sided tape off. Now we're going to go and put it up by the car. Try not to get this to touch the front space fascia because it'll get stuck and you can't move it. So without doing that, we're going to put two screws in the center just to hold it up there until we get all the other screws lined up before we want to press up on it. Okay. Okay, now we've got all them bolts in. I always want to kind of check right here just to make that these two center lines line up. We can tighten them up now. Okay. I'm going to start at the center and work my way out. I'm just kind of snugging these up right now, but they should be locked in really good. Okay, got one more right here, I forgot. There we okay, go. Okay, now tightening these up like this is what this has done. It's put that two-sided sticky tape, it's connected to there now. So it's not going anywhere. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna start putting these back on. These little, they're little rubber wind restrictors or something. I'm not really sure what they are. These little cosmetic air dams. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're helping me out, Scott. <laughs> and then we just line these up. Now guys, you guys could choose not to put these back on. You don't have to. We, we've, we've elected to do it. You're not going to see it when it's on the ground anyhow, but uh, um, we just decided to go ahead and put it back on. Okay. Let me get the other side.
Okay, now the next part is all these holes that I drilled out a little bit bigger, then we're where we're gonna put our screws, which we can start putting in right now. Now you can see guys, <clears throat> look at that. The, the, the fit is like perfect. If it's right here, comes right down like it's supposed to, everything's lining up. Now, we got lucky with this, but you know, in, in, different, uh, in different scenarios, the bumper might have gotten hit, it might have gotten bumped around or whatever, and you might have to, you know, make sure that this gets aligned correctly. So you want to make sure that it looks like that on both sides, otherwise your your uh, stage three uh, winglet is not uh, going to fit on there correctly. So make sure that this is smooth coming down like so, and that it's smooth coming out this way like that. I'm going to start from the middle right here and work my way out. All it is, all it's doing is sucking these two pieces up. And that's about it. There's five of these on each side. And what's helping these is that sticky tape that we put on. That just gives it a little extra strength and it actually pulls it up and seal it up a little bit. We'll do the same over here, just start center. This is the closest to center. But see what I was doing? If you, if you left them holes just like they were and you happen to put the screw in, it, the threads are at an angle. What it does sometimes, it takes that and moves the screw. So now instead of being flat like that is, nice, they'll be crooked. And it's not really a good secured way of doing it. Maybe just a little bit extra things to do, but it doesn't hurt to make it a, a lot nicer installation. I need one more. And that's the splitter involved. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the winglets on. But I'd like to drop it down a little bit just so that Scott can show you how nice that is. Okay. <clears throat> but you guys can see here, I mean, let me come back over to this edge. You can see that this is now smooth again. This is flush again. Just all the way around, you can see that that is lined up just dead on. Okay, I'm gonna put some tape on here. All this is for is just for me so I can mark on here where I want these holes to go. Okay. Now, I wanna take these three screws out right here. And I'll put the winglet on, which is right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up in here and line it up. And let's put the one in the bottom here. Now this is one additional step that you're having to do. I and mean, Terry's having to put this on and then he's gonna have to take it off after he gets the, the tape marked so he can drill the holes. Um, and then we'll have to put them back on, but that's one of the necessary evils about doing this to get okay. it aligned just perfectly. Now under here, back up under here, you'll see where the tape is. Now is what I want to do is, is there's not a hole, it's like a slot at an angle. So what I'm doing is I'm just 
marking the very top of it and the bottom and doing the same in the back. Now, when you drill the holes, if you come from the top, you come down a little bit, it gives you adjustments. So that, see these two pieces here? So you can line them up so they're exactly right. So you don't want to drill the hole right at the top of where you put it. You want to come down about halfway in between and drill your holes there. Now we'll take this back off and drill us some holes. Now, I don't know if you can see this, I can, but right here is the top of it, and right here is the top of it. I wanna come down about right here, and right about here. So, so what here, that's right. gonna do, it's gonna allow it to go up or down so that I can adjust this on the winglet so they're perfect. You can use a quarter inch drill. It's, this one is one size less than a quarter. But a quarter inch, if you don't have this one, a quarter inch will work just fine. Just kind of line that up. And very easy. There's your hole. Now we need one more right back here. Okay. Now we can pull the tape off. And we have our holes. Now we can get the winglet and we'll put it back on again like we did in the first place. Now before you tighten these up, just get them started so they don't, the little screws don't fall out. You want to kind of adjust this also to the spoiler. As you can see, it's almost, it's, it's almost see, it's just a, see how that's up just a little bit? Mm -hmm. Now when I put the bolt in, I can bring this down before I tighten it and it'll tighten up just like that. What I want to do first is I want to tighten these three screws up because they're lined up to the fascia. Then we can adjust all of this stuff with the bolts. So let's tighten these up. Now that's nice and secure. I put a washer on this end because with that being V like that, it's not a straight hole, so it's gonna walk on you. So what you wanna do is just put that in with the washer, put the nut on the back side, run it up, line up where you wanna be, which should be right about there. Yep, uh, that looks great. And then take a 10 millimeter and just tighten it up is what happens if you take the screw gun and take the drill and try to drill it, that spins so fast that it'll walk it up. This here, by just using a wrench and tightening it up, will keep everything aligned and you can snug it up to where it's nice and tight. There you go. Perfect. Now we just gotta put one more in the back. And I put a washer on, on both of these. It's because they put, these are cut with like, like slots, so you've got movement in them. And when you do that, they walk on you. And just do the same thing with this. 10 millimeter, tighten it up.
this one's wanting to walk a little bit, so I'll just use this just to hold it. You can just use just a regular screwdriver. It just happened to be handy for me right now. Okay, this side is finished. Now okay. we can go to the other side and we'll do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing on this side as we did on the other. Take the screws out, all three of them. There's three of them on both sides. Let me just get them untightened here and it's easier to spin them. Okay, one. Two. And three. Now, we're just going to take the splitter, or the winglet, and screw it on here. This is, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I'm going to put a piece of tape right down here so that I can line up my holes. I'll put it on first before I put the winglet on, and we can line all that up. Okay, we're doing the same thing we did on the other side, just putting tape on. All this is for is to mark where we want to put the holes. Okay, we're going to put the winglets on just like we did on the other side. And this time here, we'll put it, we'll put it on twice, but this one here is just so we can get our holes lined up for the bottom of the winglet. Okay, let me grab another one here. Hey, the reason I'm just putting two in is because it's less screw I got to put back in. But this is just to hold it in place because we're going to take it off again when we get the holes drilled. it the same way we did over on the other side same thing okay now we'll take it off and we can drill a hole Remember to not to go to the top to about just go about in the middle of it. That gives you adjustment That one went through easy Now right about in the same area right here okay. There you go Again, guys, this was just kind of a necessary evil having to screw it on to be able to mark it. So there's a little bit extra work there, but this way it assures that you get it right dead on and that you're not going to have it going, oh, crap, I got it in the wrong spot or I drilled the wrong hole. Um, just being a little bit extra careful. All of these are nice and snugged up. We can go to the bottom and put our bolts on. Okay. 
I put the front one in first on both sides because that's where your adjustment's going to be mostly. The back's pretty much dead it. Or however. Dead on? Yeah, that's, that's what you say, yeah. Dead on at my age might be something different. <laughs> well, let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep you around, Terry. We got a lot more installs to do. <laughs> okay, let's put this last bolt in back here. And again, guys, we included a washer on the front side of this, uh, on the front side of the, the bolt here just so you didn't get the, the walking as you're tightening it up. Um, so those two washers on each side are not included in the kit. So um, that'd be something else that you would want to, um, you want to make sure you have. Not something you have to have. Um, so it's, it's just a matter of convenience here that we decided to put those in. There you go. All right. Well guys, this, this installation is complete. Yep. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative, and when it comes time for you to be able to put your spoilers and your aero kit on your car, you'll have no problems putting it on. If you follow the instructions and, you've, and you follow our video to the T, you're not going to have any problems. So I just want to thank you all for watching, supporting the channel, and you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.